We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week, we're going to demonstrate a tool you have never seen before and talk about its function useful for your aircraft building. While I hold you in suspense about this unique tool, I first want to announce my pick of the week for another tool from the Aviation Department of Harbor Freight Tools. Now here's the Harbor Freight cart. Right now I have a 150 pound RV air conditioning unit on it. It makes it nice to roll around. But of course the nicest feature is that it's a jack. And with a few pumps of the foot pedal, I can raise it a good, looks like about 30 inches or so. And it is still very mobile. And with the press of a hand release, I can set it right back down. Now, of course, this jack has some wonderful applications when it comes to working on our aircraft. Let's take a look at a couple of them. It has always been a challenge to find a safe way to support an aircraft when trying to work on the landing gear, wheels, or brakes. With this mobile cart, together with a piece of lumber, it is simple to properly support the fuselage body and quickly raise the aircraft off the floor. Prior to using this cart, it was always a challenge to find a reliable and safe means of doing this. The large surface area of the cart means the stress is spread out over a large area of the structure. Now let's talk about the other use for the hydraulic lift table. At some point you're going to purchase your aircraft kit and from the manufacturer it's going to come in a large crate that you have to get off the truck. Now if the truck doesn't have a lift gate or you choose not to pay the extra $50 charge for the lift gate. You can put that money towards your hydraulic table. Well, you're going to have trouble getting it off the truck. Now, the first end will come off okay, thanks to a little bit of gravity. But you're going to find that the other end is going to be a bit more of a challenge. You're certainly not going to drop it down. And this is where your hydraulic lift table comes into great play. By stacking some lumber very carefully on top of your hydraulic lift table, and, and I said stacking very carefully that lumber, anyhow, you are able then to lower the crate gently to the ground and avoid any need for that lift gate from the trucking company. Slowly lifting each end down, your lift, hydraulic lift table has really proved its use. What a great tool. Now let's turn to the tool I promised you have never seen before. These tools are called tuck cotter pin pliers. They are designed and manufactured by Celada Aircraft. Their purpose is to provide a quick two-step process to installing cotter pins in the castle nuts we use on our aircraft. Let's look at how we use these tools in action. First, we install the cotter pin as desired and simply spread the two tails apart. The next step is to place the blue handled pliers over the nut squarely and simply squeeze the jaws shut. This gets us through the first half of the process. 
We then use the other pliers and likewise close the jaws to finish the job. A professional looking result every time. For me, the important thing is that these tools demonstrate the creative capabilities of the engineers at Silata Aircraft. This company specializes in custom manufacturing of tools and parts for aircraft, including the manufacturing of parts and tools based on reversed engineering of old or worn out parts and tools. Well, it's definitely starting to get chilly out here, so please, everyone, back to building.